Well, hello everybody, Smith here, and welcome to another Dinosaur Mod update. Look, guys, we got Demetrodons. We are in the new Jurassic World Reborn update for Minecraft 1.12.2. They're quite loud for me. Uh, yes, so lots has been updated. Uh, thank you to Vitate and the team because they've been doing some work behind the scenes. Then the mod never had Demetrodons until now. Well, they used to have them years ago. And we got two look. Look at the quality of these Demetrodons. They're beautiful colours. Uh, we've also got Demetrodon fresh, fresh skeletons and fossilised skeletons. And another thing I've got to show you today, guys, is we've now got placeable dinosaur heads. They also can be placed on walls, not just on stands, which is really exciting. And we've got some new blocks as well. So we'll start with... The Demetrodons, uh, because they are very, very nice to say the least. So, uh, like all other dinosaurs within this mod, guys, uh, we've got shaders on. Uh, they come with an egg, which can be uh, either just like this, we just spawn one in and you random randomized it. So you can go up into the sky, crouch, and change the gender. That's random. That's a male one. There's a male one, guys beautiful uh, and then change it to female and obviously we've already seen the female as well because we've seen both colors and that's how you do it for all the eggs which is really cool they're really noisy really noisy to say the least uh, but they look absolutely brilliant and you can see the quality because look at these skeletons guys we have showcased all the other dinosaurs in the past this is version 1.32 the part two of three the last the last 1.12.2 versions before they do the work to upgrade it. So we're going to head to our flat world now to show off some of the other things. Just wanted to come out here in the natural world to show these. Let's go to the flat world then. So guys, you can see here, uh, before we show you the updates, I just want to go past the previous showcases that showed all the skeletons. I mean, the skeletons are absolutely fantastic, which shows really the quality. Uh, and uh, for any Jurassic World dinosaurs like the Indominus Rex, you only get the fresh skeletons, of course. Uh, but the amount of work that has gone into this mod is absolutely amazing. And you can get dinosaurs at every single one. If you've never seen Jurassic World Reborn mod before, here is the Indominus Rex. Just one. But the beautiful, the amount of work is amazing. So I just wanted to scoot down here before you show you. Whoa, that's the Mosasaurus. Uh, before I showed you the new stuff. So they already had this in already, Spinosaurus. There we go. There's just loads, guys. Absolutely loads. This is one of my favourite. Look at that. Superb. Anyway, let's head back to the flat area. So I was just coming down here to show you the first thing, and I forgot that I had my uh, the uh, Spinoraptors here. You can see, basically, also all the dinosaurs have many colours. They have male and female for everyone, so there's lots of cool stuff. Anyway, so the first new thing we got up, guys, is every single dinosaur in this mod now has a placeable skull, or two placeable skulls, uh, most of them. A couple didn't work when I tried it early on, but you can see here, that's the Mosasaurus skull. So what they've done is separated out and you can see all these on the stand and you can see we've got the fresh skeleton skulls and we've got uh, the fossilized skulls. So you can choose which one you want. Uh, well, I think this is a really cool addition, especially when you're doing exhibits and everything, because you can have the skulls out. There's some beautiful skulls. Uh, and also, guys, look at the Carnotaurus here. So the Carnotaurus, you can put the skulls on the wall, which I think they look look slightly better. Uh, by the way, this is not, uh, this is some sort of, uh, the, the base is black, and it's black whether you have shaders or you have basic Minecraft on. There's no difference there. So they're, they're already like that. But I prefer the wall-mounted skulls. Uh, so they've made skulls. Uh, for literally every single dinosaur, actually. 63 creatures. There's 63 creatures for the skulls. So another wonderful thing that they put a lot of work into are the new blueprints. Placeable blueprints. I think the blueprints are for most creatures, uh, but they are absolutely wonderful. Now, you can pick the blueprints separately. We'll just show you a few here, but they are absolutely high quality. Uh, you need a wall this size to show the blueprint. So again, oh wow, for any, and also you notice it's actually got the which specific islands you will find 
the dinosaurs on. Ah, there's the new Dimetrodons. <laughs> but it is a really cool way to see uh, the dinosaurs in, in a clear way. So anyway, how do we actually use the blueprint? So we'll come this side over here. So we get the blueprint here and we literally place it on the wall. Uh, if you don't like it, you have to delete it and you keep going around the blueprints, all T-Rex, uh, until you get the one you want, Sp uh, Spinoraptor again. Uh, so you keep doing this at the moment. Uh, but I don't know how many blueprints there are, including the obviously the uh, Ice Age creatures as well, because there's loads of Ice Age creatures. I particularly like that one. That's one of the newest one, the Smilodon. In fact, I didn't think when I last showcased the skins were like that, but uh, maybe they've, I've missed an update. There we go. So you can keep going through them. They do repeat as well. So you just have, oh, there you go. Look at that. We'll leave it at that one there. Ankylodocus, which we'll come to in a minute, actually. But there we go. Right. Uh, next thing are the new blocks. Uh, and as you know, guys, we've already showcased all these, but you will see some new blocks. And we're just going to show you these. Uh, there's a new ice shard, which I've got here. Frozen leech, it's called. Not sure what that does, but uh, so here we go. We have the gypsum pathway. We have the gypsum mixed pathway and we have a gypsum tiles. Now, I thought they were very similar, but you can see the mixed pathway has a different design on it. And then you've got this, which is reinforced bricks. I've had an update and the reinforced stone. So as well as all the dinosaurs, they actually give you everything. And there's reinforced glass as well. Uh, they give you everything to make particular pens for your dinosaurs and all the machines uh, and all the incubators and fences as well. If you haven't seen this mod before uh, and trees and plants and more signs. There's just so much with this mod. Right. OK. Uh, other things have been updated. 38 advancements have been added. We've talked about all the gypsum and the reinforced stone. Right, so first thing is feeders have been fixed, entities have been fixed. So there's been some reduced sizes of particular dinosaurs. So we're gonna start with the Apatosaurus. All right, guys, I forgot we got some Raphius Rexes over here uh, before we put the Apatosaurus out. We're gonna do that anyway, just to show you the Raphius Rex, absolutely brilliant. Right, so let's start with the Apatosaurus. The Apatosaurus size has been reduced probably by a little bit. So let's just bring one in. Wow. So I think the Apatosaurus was too big originally. That's a green one, of course. Uh, oh, Raphius Rex. Oh, look at the new seating, new sitting mode. There's a green one with the stripes. I wonder if they're all the same, actually. No, there's lots of different ones. I can't remember how many there are for Apatosaurus, but there are lots, as you can see here. So the Apatosaurus has been reduced. Uh, so I take it then the skeleton must have been reduced as well. There's the fossilized skeleton and a fresh skeleton yes a beautiful beautiful position uh skulls as well there we go there's the apatosaurus i do like apatosaurus uh another one that's been reduced is the diplodocus let's go and have a look at diplodocus because it wasn't one of the biggest ones diplodocus wow Diplodocus, that's a brown one. Oh, they've got loads of animations as well. There've been loads of updates. Oh, there's the red one. I love the fact that we've got these odd colors. Wow. That is a, that is a particularly fantastic skin. Uh, so the fossilized skeleton of Diplodocus. There we go. And a fresh skeleton of the Diplodocus. Uh, didn't find a head for the Diplodocus. Maybe it's one's missing. Obviously, there's more work ongoing. And the last one I did mention earlier on is the Ankylodocus. So Ankylodocus has also been made slightly smaller. Oh, I wonder whether since I last showcased these, whether we've had some new colours. Let's bring a load out. So that's varied male females they are beautiful aren't they absolutely beautiful so as well as that we have a fresh skeleton i don't have a not a fo fossilized because it's a hybrid there was no fossilized skeletons of hybrids of course wow 
That looks good. I mean, you can see you can place them any which way. Uh, skull of the of the Ankylidocus is that one? So ah, that's the Apatosaurus. So again, we haven't got a fossilized skull. So there are another other bug fixes and mentions which are mentioned on the updates where you download it. All the information about that is in the description. There was one other thing I want to quickly look at was the Tylosaurus skeleton has been fixed in terms of textures. Uh, so I didn't know, I didn't actually notice anything wrong with the textures because there's just so many. But uh, that's been fixed as well. I love the little... The fin claws as they are. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Quick update. There is one more update to come from Jurassic World Reborn. I'm sure that will be later in the year. But as you've got so many dinosaurs uh, to play with, it's a fantastic mod for Minecraft 1.12.2. Thanks for watching. And if you're still here, oh, this one's lying down sleeping now. If you're still here, guys, go and slash that like button. Now, that is not sleeping. Yeah, so this is the deaf animation, or partly deaf, because I think Raphius Rex killed that, which looks pretty good in it, because the meat gives the telltale signs underneath. Anyway, guys, if you're still here, uh, go and slap that like button for me. Thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.